Oh, that's right. You've met the place where anything goes to a degree. Well, anyways, let's start the show. That's not going to be the opening statement, but it's fun to mess around. Let's move on to the show. Hello, what's going on, everyone? Trevor here for RSG, and you got your man, Toof, over there. Right over there. That one. Bam. See it? And a dog is saying hi, hello. Hello. Oh, yes, yes. You know, I love dogs. Still can't get a love for pigs. My friends got pigs. Do you like to snap at your fucking feet? It's really annoying. I like to snap at your legs. They need to learn. I will cook them motherfuckers. They taste good. I will make sure that they... I, I will feed them bacon and let them know that this is what you can become. I know it's wrong, but I'll do it. Anyways. <clears throat> uh, so, ch there's some stuff, you know, we, we got to talk about here. Um, Western Digital is shutting down their hard dress, uh, shutting down some hard drive uh, facilities to focus on SSDs, which is pretty cool. That's, that's, yeah. I'm liking, I'm digging that, you know. That was a thing. You saw what are you talking about? I didn't realize that was a thing. I thought, you know, it just pretty much had one factory and that was it. Um, of course you got tons of facilities, you know, in tons of places. That's why it's funny in, in like the, the um uh in the tire world, all these people are like, I don't want those Chinese tires. Well, I hate to tell you some there's more than you think made in China <laughs> that just have a different name on it. <clears throat> Matt, I forgot my freaking water, but I'll live. We'll make it through. We will do this. Always I'll remember the good stuff. Yeah, you know, some days you're good, some days you're bad. Uh, nope, I don't facts know. Facts of life. I'm looking at the facts of life. Facts of life, yes. You um, know you just did the theme song there, right? I did. Yeah, okay. I did. I remember, I, I'm an old soul. I, I, I'm 31, but I damn sure, you know, know things that are way older than me. I was, I'm like that Nick at Night kid, you know? Um, but yeah, so they're focusing on SSDs, and what I'm seeing is they're, they're, there's another company, I think Toshiba, that's focusing on, I think they've got something going on where they've got, they're going with bigger and quicker SSDs. Uh, what I'm really hoping for, that no one's talking about, that's great, big capacity, I like that. Okay, uh, I'm I'm loving the uh, you know initiative to go towards it. Oh, we're bigger, faster. Let's do this. How about some fucking price drops? Damn it! Come on. I mean, let's get some some hard drive style pricing out in this bitch, right? Am I wrong to want that? You know. Hey, you can find Wazzle do You know that's why I've stopped with with computers so much because. I found that no matter how much more crap I get, I don't know what else I really need. I mean, everything I need to be need to do is done here. I can spend my money on more worthy things. Uh, like I'm thinking of grabbing a console, doing some console gaming soon. You got a, you got a console, right? You got both consoles. I know. I just had the PS4 and Wii U. Uh, which games are you gonna go after? You know, I think a lot of people are. You know, that's where you'll probably see me jump back into games like Gears of War and stuff like that. I did love Gears of War. Were you a Gears of War fan back in the day? No. Really? I loved it. That was real good. Um, you know, played with friends all the time. Got pissed off plenty of times. Uh, I loved COD back in the day. That was great. That was a huge thing for me. COD was uh, shit. Uh, but then it just fell to shit. Uh, so that's where we're at now with COD. I mean, I don't have to tell anyone else it was shit. Things started going downhill when fucking Titanfall came out. That's when shit started going downhill in that world. Oh, from what I've seen, I didn't play it, but I've seen quite a bit of Titanfall, and it actually looked like it played pretty seamless. It seemed like a lot of people loved it, but it was so under-promoted and under-appreciated that it just kind of died out because nobody was there. Well, not so much Titanfall itself was the downfall. No, 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 just that that area of time. Uh, I see what you're once once Titanfall came along, then it became like, 
let's mimic Titanfall. Kind of what's going on with this whole Fortnite shit and, and the Battle Royale and PUBG. and It's like, you know, these trends. It gets so annoying. Um, you know, thinking of, uh, thinking of things that I want to point out. <laughs> America Truck Sim went up to, to Washington. Hey, hey. I don't think you can buy that expansion yet, but maybe in the next 20 years they'll have the whole U.S. done. By that time, fuck, you probably just can put on anything. You probably have a full-on goddamn simulator. <laughs> like, you know, cheap as hell, too. And by the time they're done making that game, you could just be like, yeah, I could drive whatever I want. I could drive a Ferrari. It feels like I'm driving a Ferrari, man. I mean, I could, I could drive a truck. I could drive, I could fly a jet. And it'll feel like I'm flying a jet. Man, you got like crazy boosts. They're like 20 years, like, if you really think the time frame it's going to take for that game, at that point, at that point, we'll probably have simulators to really just put our, put us in whatever the hell we want to be in. They're going to throw some shit on our face. They're going to put some way of making us feel something. And just, it'll be in your house. You'll have like turbo freaking jets blowing your face, like, Air so you feel like you're flying on a motorcycle or something, you know? Maybe we'll even throw a fucking couple flies at your face. Bah, bah, you know? Smack the artificial flies, smack the shit out of you. You know, I'll tell you what. I, here's uh, something else I want to point. You know, something I, I was just thinking about when I just said that. You know how I talk about the people that don't wear helmets when they ride their motorcycles in places like Philadelphia and stuff like that where you don't have to? You know what I'm yeah, talking about? Well, yeah. Um... I was riding my mountain bike the other day, and I was probably only clipping about 12 miles an hour, all right? Because, you know, I'm, I'm going, you know, I go at a nice little pace there, nothing too crazy. So I was probably rocking about 12 miles an hour. And let me tell you, I mean, it probably was a big-ass fly, probably like a horse ice, I'm sure. It was pretty big. That motherfucker hit my eye, and, and not my eye, just like my eyelid. That son of a bitch hurt, okay? That fucker bothered me for like a good, like, 10 minutes after, like, hey... That thing got me pretty good. How in the fucking world, man, do people ride without a helmet that don't have windshields? That shit's got to be disastrous, like, when a fucking bug hits, man. Really? Really? Yeah. You just know it kind of hits and it just kind of goes away. It's just, it's not a big deal. Unless it's, you hit, like, a June bug or something. That's what I'm saying, man. This was probably a, a, probably a horse fly, you know? And then it just it kind of hits you like, oh, you little bastard, whatever. And it, it, it well, see, on. you know what I will say, though? We have a lot more insects here than you guys got out there. Uh, That's for sure. Uh, you know, um, I, I hate New York. Um, it's great for mountain biking to a degree, but I'd rather live in Colorado for mountain biking. It might be a little tougher. Uh, I'll part, if I had a little more time in Colorado, though, I, I really was... Part of me is really debating going out to that factory in Colorado for the Yeti bikes and being like, yo, let me rent this bitch out for 25 bucks. I'm thinking about it. Oh, then uh, maybe you'll like it more in your Cannondale and trade the Cannondale in. I probably would because whatever the fuck they're going to give me is going to have some monster-ass components on it. Granted, though, uh, I found out more about my Cannondale that it's got a habit frame, and the frame is what makes it so valuable. It's got a Cannondale Advanced Aluminum instead of just, you know, like your basic aluminum. Uh, and they really did some amazing things with that uh, frame to make it so responsive and jumpy and playful. You know, so there's a lot of things going on with that frame. I, I do love. Uh, but no, I probably like the Yeti more, honestly. I probably would like the Yeti more because... It would probably cost a shit ton more, dude. I mean, look, these bikes get up to stupid amounts of money. I'm talking six grand, ten grand, eighteen grand, fucking nuts of money, dude. And the funny thing is, at a point, a lot of what you're paying for is just to shave weight. And anyone, anyone who wants to shave weight, I find, unless you're in a tournament, I find you're a moron. Just lose weight off your body. It weighs a lot more. And, uh, you don't have to sit there and spend shitloads to take it off the bike. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'd rather lose five pounds than spend $5,000 to lose five pounds, you see? That's basically what I'm saying. 
you know, there's guys in like the three gun world that will spend four or five times the amount of a rifle to make it lighter, to have a pencil barrel, to have the absolute lightest possible components they can get. And uh, it, it can cost them some money. I mean, you can, yeah, that's like that true. one there, that, you know, you, that one, if I made that a lightweight build, would probably have been about $4,000. I understand that, but you're, that's a little different now, because that's not impacted by your weight. Remember, this mountain bike has you on top of the motherfucker. So if you're on top of it, and your ass loses five pounds, well, that's better than trying to spend $5,000 to lose probably only, to be real honest, probably about three pounds. It really gets to a point where you're talking grams. On a lot of mountain bike components, it all comes down to grams. I'm not spending thousands of dollars for grams. That shit better be so light. What? Is, if you're running like a Tour de France, at that point, that couple of grams, when you're at that high of a class of an athlete, then it'll matter. That's yes. when you buy. Yes. Then you got the guys that think they're in that class that are going to have that too much money on their hands, and they're going to be the ones also buying that stuff. But for the most part, you're going to find people going to, uh, I guess you call mid, but the upper spectrum, like, you know, Getting close to that five-digit range, but not quite there. Right, right, and uh, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you, like, you know, granted, my my bike was two grand. That's that's really like tip of the iceberg for a real mountain bike, you know, because it, you pay for components that are gonna last. Like, yeah, you could buy that two hundred dollar Walmart bike, but oh, 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 it might make it through the trail. It might not. <laughs> so. Um, although I will say in that world, I'm, I'm looking more and more and more and there's just more and more shit is becoming cheap. Like you you can get like $300 bikes right now that are, you know, not doing too bad, man. Not too bad. So I've, I've got to say, I'm happy the direction that's going. That's really good. And, and people are like, well, why do you want that? Because the big thing about capitalism is competition and where, where there's competition there's price haggling uh, right now a lot of the stuff in this world is really being I forget what the word is but basically it, it I think it's illegal but they somehow manage a way to do it where they're actually spending they're 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 limiting what you know they're basically saying what it can be bought at which I think is bullshit you know, if if I buy something from a company or something from somewhere, you should not be able to tell me as a company how much I could charge for it. Screw off. I'll charge what I want. It's my profit margin that I'm messing with. Don't tell me, oh, oh, but it devalues our bike. How does it devalue your bike? No, you're just a scumbag that wants more money. But anyways, we're getting back on the bikes. I, I love bikes so much anymore. Speaking of bikes, I converted to tubeless tires. So, um, for those who don't know, it's so you don't have tubes in your tires. Ah, wow. Mind fucking blown, right? Mind blown. Uh, <clears throat> this stupid thing, man. Why is that? Why, why are you freaking out so much, camera? It's, my camera's freaking out. It wants to keep focusing like crazy. Um, so, anyways, I converted to tubeless, and then I'm thinking about it, I, I want to make a video what I don't like about tubeless. I think, I think that's, I think that's going to be a good video. What I don't like about tubeless. And the big thing I don't like about tubeless is, when I ride on my, on the roads, right, I really shouldn't be using my fucking $65 attire butchers. You know, I shouldn't. I shouldn't be using my $65 butchers that have shitloads of resistance and are getting eaten away up on the road. I should be using the ones that came with the bike that are way more suited for road, and they have very tiny little knobs, and they're my WTB tires. But, unless you are filthy fucking rich, uh, and, you know, I'm damn sure not, unless you're filthy rich and you could just keep buying the shitload of sealant, you can't just swap back and forth you at that point now I need to have separate wheels that's kind of annoying now I have to have completely separate wheels separate hub separate cassette everything 
just to have different tires. And that's where I'm like, fuck that. I'll throw a tube in that bitch and put whatever tire I want. Pop it off. Throw the other tire on. Fill the tube back up. Done. Game done. You were like, oh, but all your pinch flats. I'll tell you what. I've been riding all this year. I just finally switched to tubeless. And I haven't gotten a damn pinch flat all this time that I've been riding with this bike. All this time. I've lost a lot of weight with this bike, by the way. I think I've done like 15 pounds. 15, 20 pounds. Um... But yeah, man. Uh, I I I don't know. I'm 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 stuck on. Do I really care to do tubeless? Because I really do like to swap back and forth between tires. Um, other than that, though, yeah. I I what did I do yesterday? I rode up a hill in like one of my hardest gears. At one point, I had to walk up that hill. That is such a feat. I'll tell you, that feels so amazing when you could do something like that. Something that used to be so hard and so so much of a task, and you just demolish that shit that is fucking awesome anyways done with the bikes done with the bikes going on back to computer stuff aio coolers are coming down in price i'm seeing cooler master especially is seeming to be the king of that i mean i've seen things go on sale for like 70 dollars but they've got brand new ones for like 120 and they promise to quiet quietly cool your pc very efficiently and, uh, that's awesome. You know? I love when shit go. I love when more stuff just keeps dropping in price. I mean, like, for instance, look how good... The, you got some nice-ass TVs right now. Going for stupid cheap money, right? Wouldn't you agree? Oh, I would. Definitely. You know, I, I'm, I love this. I love what the fucking point we're in where you can jump out and buy some fucking 65-inch TV. Uh, that'd be $320. What? Oh, yeah, it's 4K, it's UHD, and, you know, it's got the Roku built in, like... Wait, wait, did you just say it's $320? How the fuck do you... Okay, I'll take it. You know, okay, it's not a Samsung that's $1,500. It's not a paper-thin son of a bitch that's going on the wall. But I'll tell you what, it's a lot better than that 720p TV you're probably still sticking with. Not you, but, you know, or that... 1080p that I've got right in front of me it's still a lot better I just don't want to change it up because like I, I'll probably actually do it but I don't really want to run 4k I've got no need to run 4k and 4k just done so much uh, then I have to record shit in 4k and I don't have anything to do that with so. anyway so we're getting off but the TVs have become so good and that's what I love to see the AAO coolers are coming down and that's why I want to see the D, the the you know, SSDs. I want to see SSDs start coming down in price. We're sitting there going, hell yeah, get, you know, get a two terabyte SSD for fucking $70, just like an HDD or, you know, something similar to that. Instead, it's like, yeah, we got a one terabyte for 200 on sale. Okay, I'm not getting that. Not that I, I mean, I'm not saying I can't afford it. I just, I mean, hell man, it's $200 for a terabyte. It's a lot of damn money, and even if it's on sale, I mean, if it's not on sale, what a two fifty? It's a lot of money for a terabyte. Son of a bitch. But that know. used to be about a hundred about a year and a half ago, though. To be fair. Oh, I know, I know. Don't I know it? Don't I know it? Uh, that's for a shit sure. That's for shit sure. Um. The the other thing, my memory is still just. That is just. You're right, man. That's bullshit. It's bullshit. Uh, it's you know, uh, unlike gas price, gas prices have been going up and down and up and down. So that's good. Hey, don't don't keep going up, man. Where I work, dude. This is how expensive shit is where I work. Okay, um, they charge you for the fucking bag in the convenience store. Oh yeah. They charge you for the fucking bag in the convenience store. And is that bag plastic? No, it's some little tiny I'm an alcoholic paper bag that they give you. Yeah, it's some horse shit. Horse shit. And the gas, three fifty a gallon. Three fifty a gallon. Fucking New York. Ridiculous, dude. You want a slice of pizza? Oh yeah, that'll be five dollars. Crazy. Although I will say, there's a place called Nona's, and they they keep opening up more places. 
Yo, you can't fuck with their pizza, dude. That shit is good. And they make this one called... They, they make... Places make lasagna pizza, but they're the first place I ever discovered lasagna pizza. Let me tell you right now, that shit is insane. The mixture of cheese with the little blots of sauce and the ricotta cheese. The way they do that, it tastes like you're really munching down on some fucking true lasagna. It's crazy. It does... It doesn't taste like pizza. It tastes a little bit like lasagna. And it's my favorite ever. Um, that shit is insane. No one else can make it like that either. And any any slice I ever get from them is pretty bad. Even their garlic not too badass. So if you're in uh if you're in New York and you ever see a place called Nona's, go to Nona's. As far as pizzeria. You won't be let down. Um uh you know there was something else I was thinking about. Uh check this out. You know that paragliding with that uh, with the motor? I don't. I think I'd have to be a lot very lightweight. Everyone I see doing it is pretty tiny, you know, stick figure looking person. But man, that looks cool, doesn't it? With the big fucking parachute and the motor on the back. I I like things. That, like Tama, right? Where you kind of sit on the thing. It looks like one of those swamp. Uh, yeah. They have a huge fan that just. Yeah. yeah. I want that because. I always like things, okay, wind can really fuck you up. I understand that, okay? But if you play shit right and you be smart about it, wind can fuck you up in a plane too. The nice thing about that is unless you, your shit gets tangled up or even if it does and you manage to get out of it, you always are connected to a parachute, man. <laughs> I mean, your, your chances of dying are way less. You know, I'll tell you my scariest things. Like some dude was carrying himself in a drone. And helicopters. Fuck that. Fuck them both. You know why fuck them both? Because if shit ever stops, your shit just drops. Stops, drops. That's it. Planes? Man, you might even get some time to restart that damn engine. Get that shit going. Hopefully, motherfucker, hope it goes. You know? And if not, you might be able to glide that bitch down to a landing. Get enough speed, get it right on a landing. Might be a little rough. But you got a helicopter or a drone carrying you. Like the dude with... Some of these drones can carry like 440 pounds. Some of these drones can carry me in a hammock. That's fucking insane. But would I ever want to, uh, you know, bank on that? Uh, I don't know. That's a little scary. Uh, but if it stops... Oh, shit. That's it. Just... Bloop. Bye. That's it. Scares the shit out of me, dude. Just scares the ever living shit out of me. Um, I don't know how people can do that, man. But uh, anyways, going back to uh, I th I think uh, some of the stuff here. Um, I, I want to try that. I know I can't actually do. Uh, I know that I can't tandem dive. I'm too much weight. People didn't believe me until I had to keep showing them that. You have to be 220 pounds or less, and I'm not fucking 220 pounds or less that, to be able to do that, so, <sighs> son of a bitch. But I do want to try that one day. I would love to try that with the motor on the back and everything. If I keep riding this mountain bike, hell yeah, I'm going to get a trainer for the winter, too, so it's like I could put my wheel in there and just ride, so I'll just be sitting there freaking, you know, chiefing on some smoke and just sitting there pedaling away at, the, at a TV show. While I'm rewatching Game of Thrones again, like, oh yeah, that's right, seriously, you get that motherfucker. Oh yeah, get that bitch, seriously, you know, back and forth. Yeah, you know, like, see, because you know, of course, there is times I do root, root for seriously. Okay, there is times you have to. Isn't there times you do root for seriously? In a finer point, I mean, there's a few times. The main point, of course, is with all those bastards that she created the problem in the first place with. I don't care if there's spoilers. Anyone, if you're watching this and you're mad that we're giving spoilers to a show that's been out for fucking years now, uh, fuck, fuck off. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, you you're, you're out of the loop. If you cared about the show, you should have watched it already. But anyways, uh, definitely with that religious group. Rooting for her. Definitely. But then I root against her. So, you know, I'll be sitting there with my bike just watching that. I'll tell you, that's going to be great. Um... I, I, I want to watch more of that show tonight, I think, definitely. Um, but, dude, uh, some of these shows are so good. And then 
Did you see the thing I posted uh, today on Facebook where Bruce Willis says, now, I know the director says one thing, Bruce Willis says another. Director says Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Okay? But Bruce Willis says Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. Who do you go with? Who do you side with on that? I, I would have to, oh, not the director, the writer. I would have to go with the writer. Well, he's the one who created the story and had its intentions of where it was supposed to be set and everything else. And it's on freaking Christmas Eve. That's right. Now, see, the misconception and where it is becomes tough. It is because there is a movie. It does have Christmas themed stuff and Christmas themed stuff that does happen and it does take place on Christmas. But where I think people get it where they're and they do have a point where it's they're saying it's not a Christmas movie. OK, uh, is because the the whole idea is not about Christmas. It's not like the you know, people I saw people comparing it to the Santa Claus. No, that's moronic. You can't compare it to the fucking Santa Claus. That literally is about Santa fucking Claus. It's literally about the... It, yeah. So there's no way that you could sit there and, uh, you know, compare those two. That That's kind of shitty. Um, now, what you could say is it's a Christmas movie because the whole reason he's there is because of Christmas... And because he's meeting up, because, you know, people are like, well, you could base it the same as Halloween, and it wouldn't be called a Halloween movie, right? And I, I see where they're coming from with that, because, you know, like I said, it takes place during Christmas, and but, but like, what people would say is, well, yeah, but you're not going to go visit family for, you know, Halloween, you're visiting them for Christmas. I get all that, but still the premise of the movie is not about Christmas. It's about a hostage takeover during using using an optimal time of Christmas. See what I mean? It's it's basically it's it's about a big theft, a big robbery going down during the time of Christmas using the benefits of Christmas that there just happens to be a Christmas party and things going on at. So, is it a Christmas themed movie? No. Does it take a lot of does a lot of Christmas shit take place in it and is there a santa claus outfit involved yes so i would say to a degree it is a christmas movie it's a half and half and that's where i think it should stand i don't think you can say no it's not and i don't think you could say yes it is because the only way the only way you could truly say yes it is is if it was literally about receiving gifts for christmas or not simple now here's a good question i have what would you consider the nightmare on elm street what do you mean? Didn't that take time to, uh, during Christmas as well? I don't remember any of them doing it now. It's been so long, I can't remember. It's been so damn long, I can't remember. Like a warm weather one, the first one. The second one took uh, like a virtual world and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Road. The third one had like a roach motel and shit like that. No snow or nothing. Right here. So I don't remember ever. I don't remember. Ever I think the first one might have been about it, though. The one that everyone remembers. It was during the day. That was the one with Johnny Depp where he gets killed from the uh, waterbed. No, I'm talking about the animated back in the day, man. You know what I'm talking about, right? Like, um. What, is, is it Nightmare on Elm Street? Or maybe I'm thinking of a different thing. That's one with Freddy Krueger. The glove. No, oh. then what the hell? Is it the Nightmare Before I Oh, maybe that's what it is. The Nightmare Before Christmas. Hello. Right? That would be the Tim Burton Claymation one. Yes. There you go. Yeah, so what would you really call that? Because that's very Halloween-esque. You know, Halloween-esque. But well, the thing is, you got the Halloween world discovering Christmas. So everybody's trying to figure out what Christmas is and find the value of Christmas and they're translating and it's going so, over. And that's a Christmas okay. movie. Yeah, it's definitely a Christmas movie. I haven't seen that in so many years. I, I honestly couldn't remember. Um, so, like like you say, I, I, I don't know if I'd exactly call it a Christmas movie, but I'm not going to discredit it being a Christmas movie. I think it's right kind of in the middle just because it doesn't really have anything to do with Santa Claus giving gifts. Really? or ta- Or the Grinch taking them basically as simple as that like like 
I don't know, would you call Bad Santa a Christmas movie? I guess, yeah, I mean... I guess anything that's really Christmas-themed to a degree has to be considered a Christmas movie. Yeah, man, that is that is going to be one for the times that'll never go away. That is going to be one that'll be debated for fucking ever. Wouldn't you say? Oh, it's pretty simple. But there's the two best Christmas, the top three Christmas movies all time in order. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, Die Hard, A Christmas Story. That's it. There, there's no argument there. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I will say Christmas Vacation is the damn best. Anyone who disagrees, they're crazy. That shit is fucking hilarious. That shit is the best. We're going to have the happy, happy, happiest Christmas and Big Crosby dance with Danny fucking K. <laughs> he, 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 oh, man, that son of a bitch. Uh, Eddie brought that son of a bitch right to the house. Oh, man. Cousin Spoilers. Eddie. Yeah, if you haven't seen that shit, yeah, you can really go fuck off. <laughs> I mean, geez. You know, there, there, there is a grace period of time where you don't get to claim, oh, but, oh, oh, you're, you're giving it away. No, 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 I'm sorry, it's been out for five years, you know, or some shit like that. Like, sorry, it's been out for five years. If you haven't seen it at this point, that's your fault, and you just have to deal with it. Because, I mean, come on, you're going to see shit online, and you're going to see shit on TV that just gives stuff away anyways. You know, but people get a little ridiculous with that stuff. I mean, in my opinion, they get a little ridiculous with it. Um... Uh, what other? You know, there's some shows that I used to like. I used to watch Weeds. That was a great show until like, I would say like the seventh. I forget how many seasons in it, it went, but it became just so stupid. Uh, you know, the plot. I hate when shows go too long and the plot dies off. See, that's one thing. I know you don't like The Office, but that's one thing that I love about The Office. Even when Steve Carell left, yes, it may not have been as funny, but it still. They got back on track and kept their shit up, and I, I still love it. Um, I hate when freaking shows drop off. Like, they hit that one, like, spot, and then it's just like, you can almost see the scrambling, like, what do we do now? We kind of really should have ended the show, but we can't because we kind of fucked up and brought it to another point. So where do we go from here? You know what I'm talking about, right? Parks and Rec was like. What, what one was it? Parks and Rec. Really? And that's what sucks because Parks and Recreation is what's considered. See, that's supposed to be a very office esque like show. Like I think from what I've seen, but it is, and it is moments to find. I think Chris Pratt is what really makes that show. Uh, you watch the first two seasons, like okay, that's kind of funny. There's, there's a few, very few things you're like, oh, all right, that's kind of funny. Third season, you're like, what are we doing here? Fourth season on, it's like this is fucking stupid. This is stupid. yeah. Yeah, like, some people liked Workaholics, and I, I was like, yeah, this is just a little too much. Some shows are just a little too much. You know what I want to go back and watch, though? And I think Netflix or, or Hulu, you motherfuckers need to get me some of this. Let me get some of that Beavis and Butthead, damn it. I want some Beavis and Butthead. I'm not sure Mike Judge is going to release it. If he did, he need to put, like, King of the Hill with it as well. He, oh, he did King of the Hill, too? Oh, yeah. He did the voice of uh, Hank Hill and uh, a couple others and everything. Can't get over fucking Boomhauer. <laughs> he's, he's the lead animator creator and all that. Oh my god, Boomhauer is my favorite on his ear. How do you, how does he talk? Really fast. He's like really fast. I know you can do some of that shit. I'll tell you, you know, at my job, man, more more and more of these southern stories we get, you get some that are just so tough to get, and you're just like, what the fuck did you say, man? I, there's no clue. You know that you can tell I'm not from around there. You could damn sure tell I'm not from around there. If they think they're not, if they if they honestly think they're talking to the store, then they're they're as dumb as they sound. Here, 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 here. What? <laughs> then you come to the realization he's like, you know, saying you know that he wants a tire put on his car. I'm like, holy shit, that's what you were trying to say. How? And then, uh, then there's other ones that, uh, where the name, just the name, uh, what, uh, what the fuck are you saying, oh, uh, what, and then eventually find out that shit is like, Walden, what, how the fuck did you get that, <laughs> nah, it's not that bad, but there has been, there has been some that are real bad, it's like, 
Dude, you're missing like a whole nother part of that word. I would have never made that out. All right, whatever. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyways, let's go on to the final point, line of final topic here. Uh, going on vacation, September. Coming out to you, damn it. Coming out to you. Uh, I'm also coming out to check out play. I'm going to be there real early, though. I'm going to be there probably about 6 in the morning, 6.30, 6, like 7 o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to rent a car, probably go out to, like, I think, Fort Collins, see a friend out there. How far is Fort Collins from you? Like an hour? It's about 35, 40 miles. Woo. Got a little bit of travel. You know what, though? Out here, that's like nothing. <laughs> People think New York is all New York City. No, 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 no. New York City, if you're in New York City, you just walk everywhere or take a subway. I mean, it's really that simple. Yeah, you ain't doing that shit out here. Hell to the no. Hell, hell to the no. I mean, you will you you could walk for... It's like that who song, I could walk for a mile, or no. It's more I could see for miles, but it's more I could walk for miles here. New York is fucking enormous. Uh, and very spread out. So, yeah. I don't know. 40 miles might not be too bad. So I gotta do that. I gotta come out there. Uh, you know... I, I'm apparently I, I'm I think I'm gonna do a live not that you would care but I'm gonna do a live smokeathon uh, on someone else's channel with somebody, uh, you know for and I'm just gonna go hardball in it there and um, yeah that's gonna be fun and I want to grab some steaks while I'm out there with you. I uh, probably won't have time to hit up the amusement park. I'm not I don't really care. I have Six Flags Great Adventure like two and a half hours away from here and. Honestly, that's one of the best in the damn country. So, if I really want to go ride roller coasters, I just wait till around that time when everyone goes to school, anyways, and go and ride the roller coasters. Which is probably what I'm going to do. Hmm. Hmm. That's a good. I think I'm going to do that. Right when I come back that following week, I think I'm getting my ass out to Six Flags. Awesome. All right. That's what we're doing. Uh, then I'm flying out the 16th, midday, going to Vegas, staying until Friday. Vegas, ah, man, I wish they had more. They should have a theme park. Don't you think theme Vegas should have a theme park? Wouldn't it make sense? Kind of do, in a way, but nothing like what you would expect, I guess. Thinking there's not really a ton of kids that go down there. There might be adults trying to figure out how they can dump their kids off, but I don't know. I don't know. Let me tell you right now. I know a lot of adults that still ride roller coasters and shit, man. I mean... The other problem over there, too, is waiting in lines and everything else, and you're going to have to be outside. And yep. it's miserable that time. So you have to worry about heat stroke and people drinking and getting stupid about it, not being hydrated well enough. Yeah, but see, believe it or not, that happens a lot more here because of the humidity. Uh, what they could do, what they would do there is they, they could actually put out a lot of misting fans, which we can't do here. Because that'll help absolutely fucking nothing. <laughs> You're already walking around in a fucking haze of mist. It's not going to help any bit by having a fan that puts more mist on you. Um, <laughs> so, uh, here you get... People get heat stroke pretty bad. I, I mean, I'd love to see... I think they could do an adult-themed theme park. That'd be pretty cool, man. I would definitely go to an adult themed theme park. Not like sex adult, but like, you know, more adult games. I mean, the sex adult would be pretty fucking cool. Why not? That would be you freaking. Hear that log splash would be coming like out of a woman's legs and coming down and splashing to another one. Just right through the tunnel. Dude, could you imagine if you're riding on a big dick log and you just go right into a mouth? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> water and it goes right down there. Dude, that would be insane. <laughs> That would actually probably make a lot of money. It would be the most obscene fucking park you could ever go to. I mean, there will be, like, <laughs> uh, what would it be? Anal linguistics or some shit ride, whatever the fuck. <laughs> something crazy. There would be, it would be the most obscene park, but it would fit. Would fit. The Vegas theme. Definitely would. That would be fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's funny. That's all I can think about now. That's really funny. My dad would be like the first in line. 
He like all he t- he all he jokes about with like virtual reality and shit like with VR and stuff. He's like, oh man, I could watch porn in VR. Could you imagine all the stuff coming at your face and everything? Okay, Dad. I know you always were horn dog. Whatever. Eh, I love you, Dad. <laughs> but but yeah. So uh, I I would think that that park would be fucking insane, dude. Holy shit! I could just think of some of these rides. The bouncing boobs. Come on. And, you know, of course, we are in 2018. You're going to have to have some cross-sections going on there. Just saying. It's going to happen. Well, you maybe separate parts of the park like that. You go this way if you want to go that way. You're, and then, you know, uh, or, or maybe uh, maybe you're not sure and you just want to... Ru- we'll put a thing at the front. and you It's called... Uh, Swinger's Choice, and it just slings you to whatever one you should go to. <laughs> I guess you found your new theme park builder uh, project. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, if only you could do something like that and freaking... Uh... Ah, man. If you... I'll tell you, it would be great to put on... I think I could... I don't know if that could get on YouTube and not get me in trouble. I know it can't go on Twitch and not get me in trouble. I'm definitely getting reported on Twitch for that. Not happening. That's a hundred percent. You can guarantee. You can. You can. You can take that to the bank. That Twitch wouldn't let that shit. So some administrator's gonna pop in like, hey, hey, wait, is that a dick going into it? Nope, 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 nope. We're done. Pull this shit. Pull it out. Done. Oh wait, nope, no pun intended. I mean, turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> but uh. Yeah, so the vacation's gonna be awesome. I kind of wish I had more time out there in in Colorado, uh, but you know I'll make the best of my time, of course, and we'll see what we could do. Um, other than that, I just have to find where I'm going to stay for those two days, really. So that's basically it. I still need to find where I'm gonna go, but um. Yeah, that, that really wraps it up. I think we wrapped up this show. This is a really... Actually, I enjoyed this show. I've gotten some of the most laughs I think we've had in a long time. Just on that theme park alone. I think we had some really good stuff going on here. So, um, Thanks, everyone, for watching. Make sure, if you're not following Twitch at ReadySetGame87, it's up there over on, on the screen. Just click, you know, just follow that. Just make sure. Anyways, ReadySetGame87 at Twitter. You know, that's what you got to follow if you want to see what the hell I'm doing and uh, on, on a more constant basis. But other than that, you you know, you can always make sure you like, favorite, share, comment down below. And uh, thanks all for watching. For all those who like watching my videos, you know, we'll see you next time. We're out of here. Peace the fuck out. Later. I know I stole that from someone, but we're, we're, we're out. We are truly out of here. Peace. Bye.